Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 31, and this is war number five. And we're going up against an alliance called Stahl Horden. All right, uh, so let's go in here and spectate. I almost forgot and went to bed, almost. So I take path three in uh, section one and two. No defender on their first node, which is not unusual. They like to save their tougher defenders for uh, more difficult nodes. We've got Odin here. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, still haven't decided who I'm going to bring in here. Uh, Nick Fury, Corvus, we'll see. Uh, I do want to bring in Spider-2099. Uh, for this uh, Captain Marvel... I don't know. Uh, I may let my alliance mates take her. Uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, if I brought in Nick Fury, I'll take her with Nick Fury. But right now, um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what the rest of these guys look like. Now, Spider-Man 2099 can take that mojo there. Uh, then we've got Colossus, Black Widow Clairvoyant, beautiful for that fight. We've got Dark Hawk. Honestly, Black Widow could do that fight as well. Um, so could Corvus. In this fight, Corvus could blitz it. If I brought Warlock, he could do that fight as well. All right, we got Mini Boss Island here. Up the left, we've got Guardian. Black Widow Clairvoyant can do that fight. We've got Bishop. And I can't remember if Spider-Man 2099 is good for Bishop, uh, to be honest with you. Cannot remember that. Um, I know an Incinerate Immune tech is probably best, so we'll, we'll see how that one goes. And we've got Storm, Pyramid X. I don't think she's that difficult on that node, but I could be wrong. Um, but I don't think she's that difficult on that node. So um, if I have Nick Fury in, he can take that fight. Um, Spider-Man might be able to take that fight as well. Clairvoyant could probably take that fight. So yeah. And if I do get a chance to take out the boss, uh, Spider-Man 2099, absolutely. And we've got, uh, I don't touch that hazard shift node. We um, got Sassy down here. Probably won't mess with him. Uh, ooh, Penny on that node, that looks ugly. Um, Corvus. Normally is really good for her, but on that one with the stun reflection and all, oof, that looks like an ugly fight. And Nova, another ugly fight, but Clairvoyant could do that fight uh, if necessary. We'll see what the map looks like when I wake up. So right now I'm thinking, I mean, I don't absolutely need Corvus. And I see a couple of fights that Nick Fury would be good for. So maybe Nick Fury, Spider-Man 2099, and Clairvoyant. That's what I'm thinking right now. All right, so we'll be back, and we'll see what my final decision was when we get to the fighting. All right, we are back, and you can see I'm going in with Nick Fury, Spider-Man 2099, and Black Widow Clairvoyant. Uh, Warlock is not brought in right now. You see the champions that they have banned which doesn't affect me that's okay i love it a lot of people don't realize how good spider-man 2099 is and they are banning some of the other uh popular counters so that's awesome so i didn't have a, a fight on that first node and we're gonna fight odin and odin is not difficult to fight uh even on this node so I believe I went in here with uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant, although 
uh, Nick Fury could have taken this fight as well. But I know that the mini, I wanted to take the mini with Nick Fury, and I didn't want to risk losing the decoy before I went into that fight because fighting Captain Marvel movie on that node is always an interesting encounter. All right, so first fight, Black Widow Clairvoyant, pretty straightforward, uh, nothing to uh, really be worried about. She's nullifying a lot of his buffs. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, his buffs don't really matter. Uh, baited out a special one. Nothing difficult. Uh, even his special two is easy to evade. Although, I used to have a, a issue with the timing on that special two. All right. So, here we go. Boom. And he's down. Didn't even have to worry about the special two. I love Black Widow Clairvoyant. She is probably my favorite mystic. That is because I'm running suicides. Otherwise, Doom might have been. But Doom gets banned a lot, as does uh, Magneto and Human Torch. So I'm glad to have uh, alternates to use. All right, so you see the nodes we're going to be dealing with. Uh, I fought Captain Marvel movie version on this node before. And always something seems to happen. Always. I, I don't know why. But I tend to lose the decoy. And that's why I wanted to make sure that I had the decoy ready. You know, you see the masochism and all this. It's a, a fairly stacked node. But one of the reasons I like Nick Fury Awaken is that he has that decoy. So I can fight normally for a little bit. I can even push it to a special three if I want to. I can be very aggressive. But you can see here, look at the damage being done. That bleed damage. Crazy. He's only at Sig 1, by the way. That's all he needs. And she's down. Just, just that easy. When I was able to awaken my Nick Fury, I was so happy. I don't care if I get um, him duped more often. Just needed that one Sig. And that's who I'll be using in war from now on. All right, so once I had energy, they had already cleared the middle, and I saw that they were waiting here, at least one of my uh, alliance mates, because they probably saw me with Spider-Man 2099. Spider-Man 2099 is perfect for this node and for Mojo in particular. If you watched, um, I can't remember if I, if I did that during the season or not, but I fought Mojo. Uh, on the boss node and Spider-Man 2099 embarrassed him. It was crazy. So Spider-Man 2099 does not gain buffs. That really kills Mojo's mojo. You know, all that degen damage and everything that he does, you have to have buffs. So Spider-Man 2099 is like his natural enemy. Now, he's not the only one that doesn't gain buffs, but just look at this. It doesn't matter to me. You know, I got hit a few times, but it doesn't really matter. I can fight this guy normally. I don't have to try to do shallow evades. I don't have to worry about this. All those evades, normally I'd be taking a lot of degen damage, not to mention the EMP modification on that node. But look at that. Down. Other than, uh, you know, the one mistake where I got hit, that was an easy fight. Very easy. So, uh, Spider-Man 2099, great for this node, great for Mojo. Next up, we've got Colossus. This is a great node for Colossus, but Black Widow Clairvoyant tears him apart. So, anytime I see Colossus on this node, I think Black Widow Clairvoyant. Now, there was a time, and I don't remember, someone asked me um, which video it was that I fought Colossus with uh, Corvus on this node and beat him. This is a Corvus trap. You don't want to do that. At that time, I didn't know that, but I actually managed to win. 
it was crazy. A lot of people were surprised that I actually won with Corvus. They thought it was impossible for Corvus to win this fight, but I did. I didn't know it was impossible for Corvus to win this fight, so therefore I did it. You know, what do they say? Impossible is just something you haven't done yet. So it's not impossible, but it is very difficult. Uh, and I would not recommend it. Uh, especially if you have Claire or some other nullifier. Just go in there with them. It is so much easier. It's not worth it. It is really not worth trying to get a uh, mutant mission for Corvus on that node. Just leave it alone, folks. Leave it alone. Leave Corvus at home, or at least for that note. All right, so we took uh, Colossus down. I don't believe I've ever lost uh, to Colossus on that node with uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant. I don't think I ever have. All right, so we've got next up Dark Hawk. And I remember looking at that, and I was thinking about Corvus, but, you know, I could use... Um, Spider-Man 2099, he could also do this fight, but I prefer to save Spider-Man 2099. I knew I was going to have to, uh, or I thought I was going to have to heal him up before I took the boss. So I wanted to keep him, you know, not dying for one thing. I didn't know what was going to happen. So I, I'm very wary of using Spider-Man 2099 on non-boss fights because I'm not really wanting to use items if I can help it. All right, so as you can see, Black Widow Clairvoyant tore him up. Doesn't matter if I accidentally hit into the block because she can nullify the armor ups. All right, but that was my final fight. I didn't get to fight the boss. Uh, I was not going to tackle that Iron Man Infinity War. So I waited, but someone cleared all of that and the boss, all right? So we'll be back in a minute and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And unfortunately, we lost this war. Uh, seems like we win one, we lose one, we win one, we lose one. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.